Hi everybody, just a brief video today to look at how we can leverage custom content catalogs within InfraWorks 360 such that if we build custom content within one model, we're in a position that we can share that content in other models as well. So it will help facilitate rather than that content living in a particular model and then maybe reinventing the wheel to create something similar that I can start to create an external content catalog or library of of model components or styles that I could leverage with all of my models. So to keep it simple, we'll focus solely on the catalog today. We won't necessarily bring up a model that even has any data in it. No surfaces, pipes, anything like that. We'll just focus on uh, two models I have here, model one and model two, uh, both created with just the vanilla content that ships with InfraWorks 360. So when we open model one, what I'm going to do is we'll take a look at the style palette and looking at the palette we can click on the tabs and we can see that we've got content in a number of different um, formats to represent everything from pipes to roads to railways to building facades. And in many cases this content will serve our purposes quite well. In other cases maybe I'll want to create or supplement this content with additional styles or, or other information. As an example, just for us to have something to look at from a, a roadway perspective, perhaps these roads will serve my purpose for most of the roads I create, but maybe in other cases I'm going to build maybe bike paths or walking trails or something like that that uh, wouldn't lend itself to like the default configuration of one of the uh, styles that ships with InfraWorks 360. And what we could do is I could modify one of them or copy a new one within this model. However, the challenging thing that we run into is it's only available within that model. I'd like the ability that as I create something, I could set it off uh, maybe outside the model and leverage it in a new one, or maybe make it available on a network such that my other colleagues in my office could use it, or maybe I could use some of the content that they created so that we're never in a position of having to reinvent the wheel. So let's take a quick look at how we would do this. Um, we'll just use a road style as, a, as an example. We'll come up here to the top, and I'm going to click on the plus to build a new style catalog, which is kind of like a folder. You know, we see we've got some for bridge, deck, and interstate already. I'm going to come up here, and we'll create one that's called custom. And underneath custom, um, I could immediately go into that folder and then build one from scratch, or we still have the ability that I could start with an existing one and then work my way through from there. So we'll start with sidewalk and green space and you'll see there's an option here it says duplicate the selected style to another catalog. So I'll select that, send it to custom. We'll say OK. If we come up to the top, look at custom, there is our style. I'm going to click on that. Ooh, we double clicked on it. Let's click on it first and then give it a new name. So we'll call it, uh, this is going to be my bike path. And I'm going to then double click on it so that I can edit it. Now it's, I can't fit the whole window on the screen at once. So we'll start by filling out the top. We'll work our way down. First thing that we're going to do is set the type. It's going to be a road as it's not going to be a bridge or a tunnel. So roads fine. Next, we're going to assign a material group to it. That is going to control the materials or the material properties that make up my style. Now this is an interesting thing. Our, we've got some defaults with that as well. Maybe my style is such that I'm going to need some different uh, materials than what ship with our standard uh, out of the box. Maybe I want to create a bike path that's got a, a white stripe or something on the edge of it and I don't have a material style set up for that. Let's, uh, let's take and uh, drill into that and look at that very quickly. Let's see if I can do it from here. I cannot make a new one in this location, so let's roll back. We'll leave our bike path as it is. We'll come back to material group. And what I'm going to do is we'll click on the plus to build a new one. And we'll say that my new material group uh, will say that I'm going to have a style in here for SPH Alt and material. We'll say we'll grab something from a roadway here and we'll say that it's going to be a dark, dark asphalt. And then let's uh, add another one. Let's say we're going to do a white stripe, and maybe we'll do another one here. We'll, maybe we'll add one for a yellow stripe or some type of symbol or whatever else we're going to take and create with it. Let's go with roadway. White stripe, we'll do a color um, yellow stripe if we were to have one of those. We'll do a color as well. And then uh, finally, you know what? Maybe we'll have a little shoulder on the outside. 
and we'll uh, set that roadway and we'll come down and just grab something uh, surface we'll say light gray okay so all we're doing is it's kind of like a collection so that we don't have just one that contains everything that's possible we can build a custom one for uh, could be for one group of roads or one project whatever the case may be so we'll say okay and it comes in here it's new material group we'll uh, give that a name give it my initials here we'll say custom group and we'll come back to our roadway double pick on bike path all right now it's going to be a road the material group we're going to select is going to be this one and the reason i want to do this is to show you that if there are any dependencies for what the content we create we can leverage those dependencies um, very easily it'll, it'll take long for the ride in the catalog what we need so any uh, road intersection material we'll say asphalt we're not going to have any bridge we'll say asphalt with that as well i'm not going to have any lane markings let me drag my dialog up here and we're going to go through and we're going to maybe delete those things that uh, make up the current style and road well, let's say we're going to go well we'll go with the uh, distances first then we'll get a better idea what to set that at let's say our path is going to be a 10 foot uh, bike path so we'll say five foot because five foot would be symmetrical uh, asphalt if you wanted something that was asymmetrical we could select this and then define the left side as well for right now we'll make it ace we'll make it uh, symmetrical so that it's five foot that'll give us a 10 foot uh, uh, bike path or a walking trail let's uh, add another thing here let's say we were going to add a stripe to the outside edge of it all right maybe we'd have a, a stripe uh, down the middle maybe the foot traffic or bike foot traffic on one side uh, bike traffic on another a lot of you know reasons we could use a stripe or some other information in here we'll say white stripe and then let's throw a shoulder on the outside edge and shoulder we'll make it a two foot shoulder and we'll say that is going to be the shoulder style all right so we've just defined something that looks like our path it's our custom content we would like to be able to uh, to leverage moving forward so we'll say okay and when we look we've got our, our bike path content is ready to go all right now once I've built that once again I want to be able to leverage this in other models or maybe by other people in my office so what I can do is I can select this and I can come up here and I can click on save to export the current style catalog and when I do I'm gonna come out to my desktop I've got a folder that I can put it in already however if you're gonna do this in your environment um, I've got a folder on my machine that's called InfoWorks Custom Content. What you want to do is put this in a centralized location, maybe on a network drive, to where the other people in the office will all be reaching into the same location to grab it. Um, putting it on my individual C drive or on my desktop is not going to help me sharing it with others. I don't have a network drive mapped uh, that I could use that for right now. Just know on your end you'd want it to be in a central location that other folks would be able to reach. So we'll go ahead and uh, InfoWorks Custom uh, Content will come into uh, custom catalogs and then I can uh, save the JSON file my styles uh, with the uh, the name that I've used here we'll go ahead and say save it's saved and we're ready to go from here what I'm going to do is we'll drop out of this model and let's say that I've made a new model now model 2 and in this model 2 I would like to be able to leverage the exact same bike path uh, configuration or style we'll come down we'll look at roadway we look at roadway you know by default we don't get that out of the box what i can do is i'm going to click up here at the top to import an existing style catalog we'll come out to our folder where we've got our shared content i'm going to grab uh, my street custom styles we'll say open it automatically recreates that within this model so you'll see that if i go into custom there's my bike path we'll double click on that we see that it's set up exactly the same I'll come up to the top and close this and at the same time if we come back to our material group it's automatically brought that across as well so because that was dependent to the style that I had created it uh, it knew that and it brought that along for us as well all right so fantastic um, uh, mechanism for us to be able to share this data we could for uh, various uh, components within this maybe for um, uh, 3d models we could start to create uh, custom uh, catalogs for things like airport uh, 
construction equipment, uh, you know, anything that you work on, vegetation, something that would be beyond what uh, what ships out of the uh, the main product itself. Okay, so uh, with that, I hope that is uh, helpful uh, by leveraging the uh, catalogs and custom catalogs, exporting those to a centralized folder. We're able to share our contra content between models so that uh, we're never in a position we have to reinvent the wheel. Once we've built something once, we can leverage it many times. Hope this has been helpful, and I'll talk to you again soon. See ya.